Yellow Spinner, you're on Penstock channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Lanz. And a while ago there was this attempt from a finger dance company. Well, not really a company, that's a guy, I'd say. We are mostly individuals in pen spinning field. Anyway, they make these nice and inexpensive Panamas, which you may know under a flower series name. The only ones factory made Panamas, which I recognize and like so far, as opposed to other attempts to make Panamas as a mass produced goods. You know, those cheap, crappy children toys, which you can find here and there. They are almost unspinnable and can barely be used for our beloved hobby. No, these guys definitely know what they are doing and they are doing it well most of the time. Their mods not even close to manually made ones, but uh, for these prices it is a good option for broke pen spinners. Anyway, today I wanted to show you one of the experimental pen mods with an awesome concept and disastrous execution. Just like my Spinball website. And just like Spinball, this pen mod, if you of course you can call it that, has been discontinued. I like the creativity, appreciate the attempt and think that this is such a nice idea to make a pen mod like this with all those features and uh, in general this is such a good approach hopefully can be done better next time all right let's have a look this is zw1007 it goes in such a package there is not much to tell about it i don't like it it makes the tool look like a cheap toy and the first thing you notice on this pen mod is this little digital screen on one side and uh, this uh, lights on another so the most awesome thing is So the awesome thing is that this little screen over here actually shows you how many full circles you have done with the pen mod. And we will get to these lights a little bit later. A simple concept which is so useful for those pen spinners who focus on doing continuous tricks such as multiple busts, fingerless thumb rounds, high tours, you name it. And try to set voltage records with these tricks. Just think about it, you don't really have to count up to 1088 busts by yourself. Snen has completed 115 revolutions. And now, sir. 113. Just turn this body on and focus on performing. All counts are going to be done for you. And shown on this little display. How about that, huh? Here is zero. I make one full charge and. Ta da! One! I've made one full revolution. A little revolution in my hand and a big revolution in pen spinning. It shows circles quite accurately, it doesn't seem to miss them, can recognize a full circle from the one you have made with a little pause. It also has nice, maybe useless, but nice feature. These little lights here indicate the spin you spin with. Higher speed you spin, more lights turn on. At first it shows only orange light, if you spin a little bit faster it turns on yellow, after that blue if you spin faster enough. And if you come close to a speed of light, it turns on red. But I don't think that anybody can spin at this speed, otherwise you may risk to go back in time. If you press this little button over here and hold it for a couple of seconds, it will reset the count. You can also do it by turning off and on the pen mode, of course. But if you short press this button, it shows some other digits, which I don't really know what they indicate. I suppose that it ind indicates the maximum speed you spin with. Probably, but not sure about that. You can leave a comment if you know or if you can guess. So also this uh, ZW1007 is rechargeable, it has micro USB socket. Overall, a really nice and thought out concept. It has these rubber nozzles from both sides, which should protect electronic hidden inside from damaging when you drop a pen mod. And uh, I like the design in general, even though it looks brick-like a little, but kind of has this Minecrafty flair or something, maybe transformer. I don't know. I'm not that good in design and struggle to recognize this inspiration for this pen mod. And now it is the time to find out why a pen mod made by a talented designer and a pen modder has flopped so hard and nobody seems to want to have one. Well, I think that the main reason of its failing is uh, its name. No, of course. The main reason is, of course, that you can barely spin it, actually. It weighs 38 grams and it is way too heavy, even by today's standards, when people tend to spin mods over 18 grams. Nah, 38 grams doesn't match with a comfortable spinning which you can enjoy. Above that, the mod has this weird weight distribution due to the extremely heavy weight on both sides, and that's why it lacks center weight. Good portion of those 38 grams are located here, where 
rear caps are usually and it is close to impossible to match it with the proper center weight either you have to add some additional weight into a body what is going to weigh 60 gram or you have to reduce weight from sides otherwise this lack of center weight makes the spin of this pen mod unpredictable a crucial aspect when it comes to setting world's records you can't rely on a pen mod that may suddenly want to fly in a random direction after making a couple of hundreds of busts and if you want to tame this pen mod's rampant tempo you have to be really precise with positioning your of your fingers on this body and you won't spin it for fun as well it is not that fun to spin without this feature of counting revolution it has no actual value you won't learn any any new trick with it wouldn't master or make smooth any of those tricks you know a simple freestyle becomes a mess when you spin a pen mod that hurts your fingers so much and while spinning and doesn't allow you to have any control over it touch me F***ing touch me touch me come on come on heart of course it is because they put electronic devices inside gyroscope digital screen lights even those bolts little bolts all this weights a lot and even though 1007 it is center balanced it is really hard to find a good momentum with these weights especially when you have to consider technical side while engineering a pen mod's design they have done a pretty good job at this though but i guess if they would make the design much more expensive they could put in lighter electronics and then just weight and momentum by using classical spare parts and reduce the weights drastically now the body is quite sick it is quite similar to Ambos body or flower v1 or v4 but it is not even close for a pen mod to have predictable and steady momentum you can rely on when sides uh, overweight center that much it gives this unpleasant feeling when you spin as well this feeling of uncontrollable pen mod the one that can drive you crazy and that's not good thing to deal with but if they will manage to remake the pen mod make it two three times more expensive it could be potentially a big success at least a very nice tool to mess with and i'm sure a lot of people would crave to have it in the, their collections you can't make these such things inexpensive it has to cost much more otherwise we have this a cheap useless toy that had potential but is good for nothing i wish the pen motor wouldn't stop at this point or someone else would come up with a better execution of such a good idea till the next time cheers